aware of the talents of one another, but at some stage, you know, you're obviously hoping to get a, you know, an easy starter, that kind of thing. It, it doesn't happen an awful lot at this level. That's an astonishing shot. My goodness, what a pop! One. I mean, to generate the angle of a just off straight red. Fantastic. Red to get going. So. The first genuine chance falls to Judd. Yes, and he did start well against Priscilla. Oh. 87 frame one, could have been a century. A few things went against him. Balls were just running awkward a little bit in that match, and there were mistakes as well. But first match of a tournament, you often get that. You'll want to improve tonight. You'll feel you'll need to, I think. Five. Here's the uh, initial red again. sparkling performance so far and his cue ball has been doing some mileage as stated earlier but he's able to recycle it all the time and he's back in prime seven. position red colour red kind of reminiscent 58. of the third session of the world final when he was 12-5 down overnight to Ronnie O'Sullivan and people were talking about a session to spare job but he won that afternoon session 6-2 Of course, O'Sullivan won the final, but he made him early in the end. This is terrific stuff. Got him with the red off the break off. Mark Allen broke off. He left that red on. He walked back to his seat, fearing the worst. And he was right to. 65. 71. Seventy-two. Seventy-eight. Oh, well, the break came Good to a premature break. end, but it was a terrific break. Mark Allen broke off. Judd Trump did the rest. 78, firmly on top already here, leading 2-0. 43. And I think we do have a new favourite because he's the man at the table. Yes, he's still two behind. Low black to follow here. Into the same pocket. 44. Let's look at this now. It looks at first glance like if he wants to play it sort of dead weight, it'll go round the back of the red for the red to the same pocket. Either that or just catch the low side of the red. Uh, just the low side of it. He's got it. one. It's certainly thin. But it does cut. Yeah, that's that does cut. It's all about his cue ball. Beautifully played. 52. Yes, Judd Trump, of course, missed the long blue at the start of this frame. Let Allen in for that chance, but Mark Allen lost his way. And... He's in big trouble if Trump now takes this frame out. 3-0 against someone clearly at the top of their game this evening. Ten in front, so yellow, green and brown needed. And he's halfway 
to a semi-final meet with Mark Selby. 57. Oh, but is there a twist in the tail? OK, he can play this with a lot of left-hand side. He's got to avoid the pink. Well played. 60. The second best way of winning a frame is with a nice century. The best way is to pinch one from 50 behind. Frame ball. But Mark Allen had been waiting for a chance. He got one, but it went wrong. As well as he's played Trump, the job is only half done from his perspective. 82. Mark Allen then looking to make his third century of the day. It sends him to the interval feeling better. He's still in trouble, but it's not just winning the frame, it's winning it like this that will give him that little injection of confidence. 89. 90. 96. 97. Loney, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson have made more centuries in the champion of champions than Mark Allen. And this is going to be another one. Exactly what he needed. He hit back very impressively after that last frame was stolen from underneath him. One and three. Only going just under an hour. It's uh, set up nicely for the second half of the evening. Hundred and three from Mark Allen, oh, his third God, century of the day. To get on the scoreboard, Jeff Trump made the early running. He looked very That's impressive. But as I say, he's only halfway there. At the interval, he leads Mark Allen by three frames to one. Wouldn't have seen you do that, Stephen. Are you trying to say, Phil? But you're right. You are right. Eight to one. Eight to This really has been top class from Judd Trump. As I said, lost the frame before the interval, but is very quickly eight eight. put himself back in the, the driving eight seat in this match. And this is ominous for the rest of them because when Trump's on nice. top form, watch out. I have to say, the table looks an nice. absolute Seven. pleasure to play on. It really does. Everything that the player is expecting the cue ball to do, we see the centre come up. Everything they're expecting is happening. So he was in the zone then for months on end. And he's in the zone 63. once more. 64. An even quicker conclusion than the previous frame. Yeah, this is about as good as you can play. Long red. Frame over. 72.
79. Judge Trump, 79, and the friend. Trump seemed disappointed with that. He thinks he's going to pop everything. He is 5 1 ahead, though, one away from progress. I mean, the way his night's going, he wouldn't put it past him. He's giving out the eagle eye. Here we go. Well, very well worked out. One. Very well worked out. Those go in when you're 5-1 ahead and playing beautifully. They rattle when you're 5-1 down and struggling. Oh, he's played it beautifully. He has played that beautifully. Yeah, playing at the opposite hand. I mean, this is... This is tough. And he's, the cue ball's close to the cushion. This is so tricky. And yeah, I don't disagree. Getting the rest out. Whatever you do, don't miss the red. If you're not nice on the colour, fair enough. But don't miss the red. And so often with this kind of shot, if a player misses it, they overcut it. In regardless, and the angle on the pink is very appetising. Yeah, one thing to avoid now, anywhere near that blue. Oh, is it just stopped in time? Can 59. he get through to the cue ball to impart backspin on it? He can. This is an, as impressive a performance from Judd Trump as I've seen in a good two or three years. Total dominance. Apart from that century from Mark Allen, it's just 64. been top quality. It's going to be Trump's widest margin of victory over the Northern Ireland number one. And one of his most gratifying results for many months. As Stephen said, gratifying performances. 73. 79. A string of breaks, brilliant potting, positional control, you can't ask for anything better than that. Shouted from the rooftops. Judd is back and back with a vengeance. Simply brilliant from the Bristol boy. He's beaten Mark Allen by six frames to one.